uh, very good afternoon my name is Alok Shrivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts before we start uh, on our video let me wish you or I take this opportunity to wish you all a very very happy Diwali may this Diwali brings you peace wealth your uh, like harmony and whatever you wish God I pray to God that your wish will be granted for you so let me start with a small video again a very ha very happy Diwali let's start so in this video I'm going to show you how to access your desktop over internet using NX server look s the problem is that suppose I have a machine somewhere uh, at a remote location and I want to access my desktop though I have a couple of uh, tools or the applications available but this NX servers really catch my eye because it's very beautiful it's very simple and the best thing is that it saves you a lot of bandwidth you can even get a very good performance and speed over a direct network so let's see how to configure a NX server so for this particular video I have a virtual machine as usual here it is it is running rel 5.4 I'll show you sorry I'll give this uh, so it's actually 5.4 I had uh, changed my issue command there or the, the contents of the file if you just uh, recollect the previous video so the first thing first you need to download the packages for the NX server so the download is freely available and it is available on the official website of the, uh, the NX server it is nomachine.com see here it's www.nomachine.com so you can download the video from there just click on the download and then you had to download I click on free edition here I click on the free edition for Linux like this and then you need to download for RPM obviously I'm going to go for the RPM as I'm going to configure it on my rel machine so I click here here it is you need to download all the packages client node as well as the server just download those servers I go back again I had already downloaded these RPMs I'll show you here I go on my desktop I have these packages available here I'll just try to show you like this that's good so these packages are already downloaded so the first thing is that you need to download the like after you have downloaded the packages you you need to install them so uh, uh, installation is fairly simple just give the rpm command you can use the rpm command to install it first you need to install the client so I give uh, annex client RPM that's great installed then you need to install the node I give NX node if the download is proper then there will be a no problem in installing it Wow great then the last package left is NX server so I give RPM hyphen IVH NX server woo good if the SC Linux is enabled on your machine you might get a warning for the SC Linux right now I'm just ignoring that particular uh, warning of SC Linux that's great I had downloaded the applications I had installed the application now I need to start my server so how to start it just give the command you un under USR you've got NX already being created for you bin and you've got NX server and hyphen start give this now NX server is being started that's great now the thing is that you you need to have a user already created on this machine so by that user account you are allowed to connect remotely so in my case I've got couple of users already created say I've got Alok here, Arun here, Arnav here so, so you need to add a pre-existing user in the NX database NX server database so that's uh, fairly simple make sure that the user already exists you can give the command usr nx sorry bin 
nx server hyphen hyphen user add say I give rn I am adding rn here it is is done that's great that's so the job is done my NX server is ready yes it's really ready nothing to be done at this stage now now how can I access it remotely from a di different machine so I check my IP address my IP address is 253 that's good so I go back to my base machine which is r actually running Ubuntu here I'm running the Ubuntu here Ubuntu. I had already downloaded the package from the same site, no domain, no no machine.com for my Ubuntu. I'll show you. You've you've got the clients available here, NX clients like this for Linux for Linux. So I, I click here and I can download the client for the Ubuntu. As I all already explained it to you, just click here and then downloaded the client only so I downloaded the client for my Ubuntu so that particular application is already installed NX client is already there on my Ubuntu machine so I just need to connect it USR NX bin then NX client that's it this is the only command you just you need to give the wizard will open automatically like this just click on next give your session name say I give my server the IP address of the machine in my case it is uh, 253 and I'm as I'm using the LAN you can choose your medium from here as I'm choosing the LAN I click on LAN I click on next uh, my session is the genome I click here you can also like uh, uh, make all the communication in the in the plain text though it is not uh, recommended as such click next I don't want to create a desktop on my a shortcut on my desktop sorry so if you wish you can have this click like check down otherwise you can skip it uh, here I'm sk skipping it finish that's great it is asking you for your authentication in my case it is RN and the password I suppose was Red Hat so I click on login here let's check it out trying to connect it let's see hope everything works fine wow so here I have the desktop of my remote machine which is running rel here it is so now I can use all the applications everything that is available on my server let me make it smaller so that the everything comes within the video frame that's it this is my rel machine appearing under the ubuntu and in this manner you can very easily effectively share or view your desktop remotely and whenever you want to close down it's very simple just close it you get this particular message that whether you want to disconnect the session obviously just click on disconnect that's great go back so I hope you like the video thank you very much God bless and once again I wish you all a very happy Diwali